Good morning, I am Purnima and I welcome you all to my English class. Now children, today also I am going to start my class with a thought. And what is that? Let me tell you. Where there is a will, there is a way. So children, if you want to do anything in your life, if you are having a strong willpower, willpower means you want really to do or you want to achieve that thing. If you are really willing to do that, I mean to say, if you are really willing to do that, definitely nobody can stop you to get that thing. So, children, with this thought, okay, we are going to start chapter number 10 from your book, Beehive. From your book, Beehive. And the name of the lesson is... Cartman. Okay, so as you can see, the name of the lesson is Cartman to a place which is very, I think everybody know about this place. And I am sure that many of you have been to that place also, isn't it? Student? Now, this Cartman to lesson is written by a very famous author, and the name of the author is. Vikram Seth. Okay, he's an Indian author and he both the parents were highly educated. His father Prem not say it. I told you he was a barrister, he was an executive and mother she was a barrister. In fact, she had be she was practicing in Delhi High Court. Now children, he is the person where he used to write novel also and poem also. He is a novelist as well as a poet. Very less person are there children. Very less person are there who are both like Shakespeare, one of the greatest dramatists of English literature. So very less persons are there who are talented, who have this talent that they can write novels also and they can write prose also. So Vikram Sage, and he was an Indian writer writer and he was having both the talent. Now children, he had written many poems, he had written nice proses and one of the prose we are, which we are, we are going to read, I will be telling about it. Okay, and he got so many prizes for it. He got, because his work was liked with so many people that he received several awards including Padam Shri. So first of all, he got which award? I think I have discussed with you earlier also. So he got Padam Shri award. He got Sahit Academy award. Of course, he got W. H. Smith literary award and crossword book award. Okay, so so many award he had. And children, he basically wrote this chapter. Actually, he is not written purposely this chapter. It is an extract from other some other part of the book which he had written okay and it would be interesting for those who travel a lot because even Vikram said he loved traveling um, this is a type of a travelogue you can say okay I will tell you one question is there related with travelogue I will discuss with you when we will do the questionnaire session okay student then I will discuss you what is a travelogue so children when a person who is interested in traveling, they see so many places, they are aware of the cultures and the tradition of that places, music, everything. Okay. And first of all, children, I will also like to tell, in fact, you also have to note it down that Vikram Seth, okay, he had written a book and the name of that book is, no, you have to note it down, Heaven. Lay this you have to note it job down is okay. This okay, heaven lay and children Kathmandu. This is the name of the book which he had written. And here, children, this is the chapter which you are having in your book. So, this is an extract, heaven lay. It is an extract. What do you mean by extract? It is a part, it is a part of that lesson. So, Kathmandu actually, it is not a lesson, he has written a you can say 
he has done a prose work and the name of that book is the prose is heavenly and this here Kathmandu this chapter is an extract and then this you know what he had written in heaven's lake this book was written when he went to China and from China to India he was returning via Tibet and Nepal so tell and what when he wrote this uh, uh, extract when he wrote this book when he he loved traveling and children when he was traveling he had been to china he wanted to go and see china he went to china and from china to india when he was coming he used to stay at two places okay and those two places are Kathmandu and tibet so he had when he visited Kathmandu, he was he liked that place so much that whatever he had seen, he has written in this lesson. So, children, this Kathmandu is an extract from Vikram Seth, book Heaven's Lake. I've already written there. And when he wrote this book, he wrote this book when he was returning from China to India. And along with that, he had to stay at two places also. One was Kathmandu and the other was a student. What was the other place? Other was Kat, Kathmandu and Tibet. Now children, in Kathmandu, children, in this lesson, he had told us that in which places he went, what were the places, uh, famous places there. Basically, children, Kathmandu is famous. It is a religious place and it is famous for two things. Two temples are there. One is a Hindu temple that famous temple of Pashupati Nath is there and the other is a, related with Buddhism. It is a Buddhist temple and he has compared also that temple yesterday. Okay, so children, first of all, he tell, he speaks about the difference between Pashupati Nath temple and the Buddhist temple with Bodhnath Stupa. It is not a Bodh, yes, it is a Bodhnath Stupa which is the name of that Bodhic temple. It is a Stupa and the stupa they have a particular structure which I have discussed. I have told everything in detail in yesterday's video. The stupa is a, it is in semi-circular motion. We people are living in Varansi. I think many people, the school have taken you to the picnic to Sarnath. And there is a great stupa of Sarnath is also there. So I think everybody you must have seen that stupa of Sarnath. And you can see children that the stupa it is having a, semi it is in a semi-circular structure and children what is a stupa first of all you should know what is the difference between a temple and a stupa in indian hinduist temple idols are kept okay in this pashupati nath temple shivling is there the great lord shivling idol is there and in stupa children it is believed that few relics of related with buddhi Buddhism, like with Buddha, like his hair, his nail, something must be there. Some small part of his body, like hair, nail, okay, it is there. People go and worship, they lit a candle and put it in the near the stupa and they pray to the god Buddha. Well, children, then he went, he also brings to the notice that what he had seen near the temple a river Bhagmati river was flowing and he had described in a beautiful manner that what was the scene near that river so children that starting the initial part of the chapter he is telling that how the beautiful temple of Pashupati Nath looked like and how that stupa there was peaceful atmosphere there it looked like then he went to the market and today children we will do discuss that what he had seen in the market but Mandu. This thing attracted him most. Okay, what was the condition of the city? And after that, how he had gone to his place back. So, children, this is a type of travel of we can say. All right. Now, I will be telling you some of the important thing. Like children. He also casually brings to the notice of the reader, river, uh, readers children that is happening beside the riverside and uh, indirectly children he hints us that it is making our river polluted. Okay, so children I 
I think I have discussed this thing also with you in my study video that how the people were making river polluted. He had told that the people were cremating the dead body, the corpse of a human being, corpse is a dead body of a human being. So if cremation was going to take place there very soon, then washing women, they were washing the clothes and the children were playing, children were playing, they were throwing it rubber, they were throwing all the stone and all that thing and they were playing. So children in this way he bring, in fact he make us aware indirectly that we should not pollute our river which in our country mainly everybody does. So many people you can see they wash the clothes. Okay and of course the dead body is cremated near the river. What else children he had seen? He had also pointed out us about the old belief of the people and old shrine was there and it was believed that when the God will go away from that shrine, shrine is a place where we do worship. It's a type of a small temple I mean to say and when the God will leave, okay, inside the goddess will escape, okay, then this evil period that is Kalyu will also and I told you, I also discussed you about the the three, four ages where, and this is the Kalyu, this is the fourth stage we are facing now is uh, Kalyu. Kalyu is a uh, age where people think that lot of evils are uh, prevailing in the society and lot of people are suffering because of their sin and one day all of a sudden, okay, that we all will die and then the another age will so children, these are the things he is pointing out. At the same time, he is also telling us a lot of things. The scene inside the temple, the scene inside the stupa, near the stupa, around the stupa. He had discussed everything in a very fine manner, which was discussed in yesterday's video. Well children, today I will be telling you that which thing attracted him most. From there, he went to the market and which thing attracted him the most. So, let's children start our lesson. And open to page number 130. Okay. So, children, we are here at page number 130. Children, I will be reading, I will be explaining you, okay, I will be telling you, uh, in fact, children, we will start from um, this one, from paragraph 4, because this is the most important uh, part, which I think I only discussed the half part with you in the video, okay, so this part I am going to explain you once more. Kathmandu is vivid, mercenary, religious with the small shrines to flower adorned deities along the narrowest and busiest street. I will be writing this, uh, I will be telling you children the meaning of the new words also and you have to note it down and children whatever problem you will have we will discuss in our uh, online classes. So we are here at um, paragraph 4 page number 129. Okay, so I am going to start. Kathmandu is vivid, mercenary, religious, with small shrines to flower adorn details. Now, children, meaning of vivid is bright. Let me rub the board. So, children, meaning of vivid is, you can write it also, you can note it down somewhere. Meaning of Okay. So, and it is a religious place, children. Kathmandu is a religious place, beautiful place, but it is a religious place. And there, there will be always be a crowd and a congest, congested place 
will be there whenever there is a whenever you will go and visit some religious place so it was religious with a small shrine to flower adorned details along the narrowest and busiest street so children they were small shrines were there okay small small shrines were there small shrines were there children i told you the meaning of shrine means shrine means a place of worship and uh, small idols of the glass god were placed there the people were offering flower to them deities means god write the meaning of deities also it is god along the narrowest and busiest street with fruit seller this children you have to learn this lesson this part of the lesson is important so now he went to the market and what did he see he saw children many small shrines were there and people were deities were there and people were offering flower to, to those deities what is the meaning of deity i told you god the narrow street the street were narrow and it were quite busy with fruit sellers so people were there were lot of fruit sellers sitting there selling different types of fruits and children the most important here is flute the seller they are not telling fruit i am telling flute flute is a musical instrument okay krishna lord krishna used to play flute so flute is a musical instrument and children it was a local person selling that was not very expensive flute okay he was also sitting and selling his flute hawkers of postcard shop selling western cosmetics and children postcard now the children now we are having internet okay we don't understand the value of postcard earlier i remember when we used to go there we also used to buy the postcard of certain places okay suppose if a person is going to south india so there all the religious all the tourist places were there in the postcard and people used to buy the postcard so it prove it used to prove memories to them so postcard of maybe of pashupati nath temple or the religious places like bodhnath supas or maybe the market scene the beautiful natures natural scene of nepal of kathmandu so this was this all mostly people used to buy in the the hawkers in the postcard they used to see and they used to buy according to their choice shops selling western cosmetics now children people of nepal i think they love cosmetics very much so there were many shops who were selling western cosmetics film rolls of course children now we are having cell phone you can click thousands of photo within few minutes but i still remember that children earlier people used to have cameras and they used to buy film they used to buy film they used to click the film okay they used to have camera now that age is over now people are having cell phone um they are so they are having they are taking photographs with their cell phone okay or with their tab so earlier the the tourists actually they used to buy the film rolls and they used to put in the camera and children film rolls were also it is also a type of children what to say a pictures okay and people used to put in the projectors and all the beautiful places all the religious and tourist places used to they can see like that also of course chocolates so many varieties of chocolates were sell uh, was seen the the people were the hawkers were selling it or copper utensils and nepalese antiques of course we cannot forget there were many utensils made from copper and then of course nepalese antique piece were there film songs play out from the radios well in the market was lot of hustle and bustle was there in the market and film songs were blaring play out from the radios so let write the meaning of this new word the meaning of blare okay see the meaning of blare which i am writing on the board it means making a loud noise so this is the meaning of blare 
which I have written on the board. Okay, so nice word. So, what are film songs? The film songs were blaring out from the radios. Car horn songs. The horn of the four wheelers could be heard in the market as it was the most busiest place. Bicycles bell ring. Of course, bicycle bells were also ringing. Stray cows low pushingly at motorcycles. Vendors shout out their wares. Now, children, stray cow. Stray means the cows which roam here and there on the road of its okay and they are not cared much by the people. So there are so many stray cows who were low pushingly at motorcycle. They were looking at the motorcycles. Vendors shout out their wares. Vendors, who are vendors, the person who sell the things, they were shouting out their wares. Whatever the things they were carrying, they were shouting. I indulge myself mindlessly. Now children, even he there, he went, also went there. Okay. Buy a bar of marzipan. Now children, after um, uh, do, going to the temple and visiting to the city, he was uh, seeing the city. Okay. And then he felt hungry and he bought a bar of marzipan. Marzipan, you can see it is written here in your book only. A sweet meat with grated almond. On the cob roasted in a charcoal brazier on the pavement, rubbed with salt, chili powder and lemon. Children, a corn. A corn on the cob. Okay, what is a corn? So, corn, children, nowadays you can see you can get a lot of corn. And it was roasted, it was being roasted on the charcoal slavery. Okay, and rubbed with salt and chili powder and lemon. Well, a couple of love story comics. Some people were selling comics also with a love story and even a reader digest. You know, reader digest is one of the most common magazine, you can say. And everywhere in the world you get this magazine. This is one of the most common magazine read by many people in the world. And a lot of good stories. So many nice uh, articles you can get in this book. So, he had seen reader dolls also being sold there. All this I washed down with Coca-Cola and no sitting orange drink. No sitting is sickening. Well, he had a Coca-Cola and no sitting. No sitting, I told you, the meaning of no sitting is sickening orange drink. And felt is the better for it. He was feeling sick. He was feeling tired. He had an orange drink and now he was feeling so much better. Because now he had something to eat. I considered what food I should take back home. Now children, he had seen, he had been visited the city. And as I told you, this is a travelogue. In a travelogue, children, first of all, let me tell you what is a travelogue. Uh, in short, because I have to tell you when we will discuss the question and answer. So travelogue is a, is a children article where the person write where it had he had traveled. Where, which places he had been, what he had seen there. Like he had been to Pashupatina's uh, temple. So what he had seen outside the temple, inside the temple. Okay. And then down the Bhagmati river was flowing. Okay. And what in there he had seen, he had seen and that body was getting cremated. Washed, women were washing the clothes, children were playing. And then he went to the other place that Stupa and he found that it was full of peaceful atmosphere was there. But at the same time, he had discussed that what was there around the Stupa. Hawkers were sitting, peaceful atmosphere they was there and they were selling the local things and some of the antique things they were selling. From there, he came to the market and children in a very nice manner he had described what was the thing he saw in the market. So many hawkers were there along with the animals, fruits, leathers, seller was there fruit seller was there okay well he felt hungry and he also had written what he had I consider what route I should take back home if I were propelled by enthusiasm for travel per se okay 
Now children he is telling, I consider what route I should take back home. Now children, enough traveling. From China to India he traveled. He had to stop in the way. Where? He had to stop in the way. He had to stop at Tibet. And now he is in Nepal. He has seen, he has described everything. Now he is thinking to go back to his house. And he is thinking that which route he should take. If I were propagated by enthusiasm for travel per se, I would go by bus and train to Patna. Then per se is a, um, it means by itself. And propagated means drive. Now, children, he was interested in traveling. In fact, he wanted to see the places. Now, he is in Air Kathmandu. He has come back to India. So, he is thinking whether he should go by bus or by train. Okay. And, or by plane. Then, sail up the Ganges Pass, Banaras to Elawar. Now, he is thinking if he will go by bus and or train to Patna, then children from Patna, he will sit in a boat and he will travel to Banaras or he will and to Ilhabad. Then up the Yamuna past Agra to Delhi. And he would also like to go to, if he will go to some other places, he would also like to children travel near the Yamuna past Agra to Delhi. Now children, the place he has to go to Delhi. So he was thinking thinking of taking two routes if he will go by UP so by, or by Patna or by Varansi he will definitely he will sail in Ganges he will enjoy the boating also and suppose if he go by past Agra to Delhi he will also enjoy boating in River Yubna. But I am too exhausted and homesick but children he was feeling that since he had already he was he had come to done his journey he began his journey from China to India. So he was feeling too exhausted. What is the meaning of exhausted? Exhausted means very tired. And he wanted to reach home as soon as possible. Today is the last day of August. Now it was the last day of next August. Next day September month was going to start. Go home I tell myself move directly towards home. Now he again started thinking what to do. Then children he heard the voice of his conscious and which told him go home directly and soon. So he entered a Nepal airline office and buy a ticket for tomorrow's flight. So well, he was tired also and he knew he would be wasting a lot of time if he will go by Varanasi or by Agra. So he thought he would better, uh, he would sit in a flight and then he will go. So he bought a ticket for the next day flight. Now I am here at paragraph number 6. I look at the fruit seller standing in a corner of the square near the hotel. In his hand is a pole with an attachment at the top from which 50 or 60 basris protrude in all direction. Okay. Now children, the, I think he loves flute. Flute is, I told you, is a musical instrument. And there will be a lot of new words in this paragraph, which I think I should write. Now, children, he from when he went to buy the ticket for uh, Nepal uh, Airlines for the next day flight, he looked at the flute seller standing in a corner of the square near the hotel. In his hand is a pole with an attachment at the top from which 50 or 60 bossries protrude in all direction. Protrude means stick out. Like the quills of a porcupine. They are of bamboos. Children, what is a porcupine? Porcupine is a bird and it is having a sharp, what to say, quills are, can be seen there. Okay, so the, first of all, write the meaning of protrude. The meaning of to stick outside. So the fluid were kept in such a way uh, around the bamboo. Okay, a stick, bamboo stick was there that it was looking as if it were the quills of a porcupine. 
and children 50 to 60 basri basri is a flute basri is a hindi word for flute it was there around him there are cross flutes and recorders from time to time he stand the pole on the ground select a flute and plays for a few minutes now what is a cross flute children it is having cross flute or something of a shape like this okay that means this is a cross flute all right so something like the shape of a cross and you can see he was taking so many fluids from time to time and what he was doing he was playing the songs the sound rises clearly above the noise of the traffic and the hawkers cry of course the sound were rising high above the traffic that means when he was playing the flute the song was coming very loudly okay he does not shout out his fear. Occasionally he makes a sale, but in a curiously offended way, as if they were incidental to his enterprise. Offended. Offended means not showing much interest in something. Now he was not looking anywhere. When he was not shouting like other hawkers, what he was doing? When he has to attract other, he was simply taking out any fruit from there, okay, from his collection, and he was playing it. Sometimes he breaks off playing to talk of the fruit seller. Sometimes children, he was standing near the fruit seller and he was talking with him. I imagine that this has been the pattern of his life for years. So this was the pattern of his life. Now children, I find it difficult to tear myself away from the square. Flute music always does take time to me. It is at once the most universal and most particular of sound. There is no culture that does not have its flute. Now children, he is telling when he, he loves music and he especially he loves flute music very much okay he feels that it is the most universal and most particular sound the beautiful sound most universal sound and he is no culture that does not have its flute the ritne the recorder the japanese Shatakachi, the deep basri of Hindustani classical music, the clear or breathy flutes of South America. Now, children, he is telling these are some of the country where the flutes are named differently. And you can see here the reed name, the recorder. Children, in Japan, it is known as by the name of Shakuhachi. In ba India, it is known by the name of basri and it is it will come the music will come under the category of classical music okay then there is a flute in the south america also so the high pitch chinese flutes are also there each has its specific fingering and compass now children specific means clear and exact you can see that when uh, the flute is there you can see the holes are there and the people they just take out music by putting her fingers on the holes because then only the sound will come sweet. Children, we are in the rough spell graph of page number 131. So, it, it weaves its own association yet to hear and It seems to me to be drawn into the commentary of to, of all mankind to be moved by music closet. Okay, so we feel music is a very good thing. It suits us. Its motive force to is living breath. It too needs to pause and breathe before it can go. Okay, so like we breathe, we pause, then again we breathe. So the music is also played like that in the flute. Last paragraph that I can be so affected by a few familiar faces on the Basri surprises me at first for on the previous occasion that I have written home after long absence abroad, I've hardly noticed such details and certainly have not invested them with the significance I now do. So children, this is an extract which the writer has discussed with us and children, he, whenever he, the writer is telling, whenever he is there, okay, and whenever he sees Basris, it surprises him a lot. And on the previous occasion also, 
I have returned home after a long absence abroad. I have hardly noticed such details and certainly have not invested them with the significance I now do. So with this, student, I end my video here. Go through it and whatever problem you have, we will discuss in the uh, online classes. Also, we will discuss the question answer in my class. So thank you and have a nice day.